Let's be honest, Windows 11 looks clean, but also kinda boring, right? But what if I told you that you can make it look like this in under 5 minutes? In this video, I will show you exactly how I turned my Windows 11 setup into a Mac-style productivity beast and how you can do the same. By the way, if you're loving the wallpaper, it's just one of many in my wallpaper packs. You can check them out in the video description below. Oh, and stick around till the end because I will also show you how to get fully working macOS-style widgets on your Windows Windows 11 setup. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The first thing which you want to do, open your web browser and here search for the start all back. Now here on the first page, I will also put this page in the video description down below guys, and you will be redirected to this page. Now down below, you can scroll down and click on the download button where you will get the .exe file. Now, once you have this file, you can navigate back to your file explorer and here double left click on the .exe file of start all back. Now, once you are here click install for everyone and click on yes and now you should see some changes here in the start menu and taskbar now you can also see here the welcome screen i will just select here proper 11 so here you can pick whichever theme you prefer and this is what the start menu right now looks like now we can go here to the taskbar and then down below make sure that you change this option centered task icons and then here make sure that you have this option selected together with start button now you can also enable plumpness so this will make the taskbar a bit bigger then make sure that you also enable segments and here make sure that you go from up to three segments to just central segments so make sure that you select that and then here you can also turn on automatic hiding as well as dynamic shyness now you are pretty much done with the mac os dock on your windows 11 i think it looks very very cool and you guys can also automatically hide it if you for example here i open the file explorer you can see how seamless it transitions to the bottom bezel of the screen and if I go with my mouse down below here you can easily see the taskbar down below. I think it looks very, very nice nevertheless. And one thing which I should remind you guys is that this program isn't actually free. You can see here that it has 100 days free trial. So if you guys think it's worth the money, you guys can always purchase the license on their website. It's quite cheap as well. So if you think it's worth it, you can easily buy this program on their website. I think it's totally worth the money. Now, let me show you guys how you guys can install macOS widgets on your your computer as well. But before that, make sure that you go to this video description below and check out my wallpaper pack as well. Now go back to your web browser and search for the rain meter. So this is basically the program which we are going to use for our macOS widgets. Now here on the website, click on download and make sure that you save this file to your computer. And once you are here, go back to your file explorer and click here on downloads. And here double left click on the .exe file. Here click on OK, then select here standard installation, which is recommended, and then click on install once again. And here, click on yes. Now click on finish and make sure that you have this option turned on, run Raymeter. And now after you have Raymeter up and running, you should see a few pre-installed skins. You guys can always right click on them and click on unload skin and then just repeat the process for the top three widgets as well. So we have clean desktop with the macOS dock. Now open your web browser once again and here you will search for Monterey Rain Meter and go to this GitHub page, which I will also put in the video description below. Here on this website, scroll down down below until you find here releases link, click on it. And then here, make sure that you scroll down once more and here select this file, which ends with .rm skin. Click on it to save it to your computer and then go back to your file explorer and here double left click on this file to install this widget pack. Here click on install and just wait for it to install this widgets on your computer. Now you should see this widget on your computer on your desktop and here you can simply turn on whichever widget you prefer. We can for example here add calendar, we can even add monitoring, maybe even weather, notes and let's say reminders as well and then we can also add the clock. 
unlock. So just like this. Now, if you go under the appearance, you guys can also change the color to whichever color you prefer. You have light, dark, automatic, color, or blur. I think the blur one looks the best in my opinion. Now, once you have every single widget here on your desktop, you can simply put them somewhere here, for example, and let's say this one to here, and let's add reminders somewhere here and the notes somewhere here. Now, for the widgets, you can also resize them if you want to. You can, for example, right click on this huge widget and click on wide option, and then you can, for example, place it somewhere here at the bottom of the screen. Then, for example, you can also add notes to top of that and also this reminders widget as well. Now, for the clock, you can also click here on small size, or maybe you can go even wide, and this will make this clock digital. And let's say we can put it somewhere here. Now, for the monitoring widget, you can also make it larger and wider as well. So this is what this widget looks like. You can, for example, put it here. And then for the calendar, we can put it next to it just like so. So yeah, this is how you guys can also add macOS inspired widgets on your Windows 11 desktop. So I think this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the simplest way how you guys can turn your Windows 11 into a Mac OS productivity beast. And here we have this beautiful dock and also the widgets on our desktop. With that said, I think this is pretty much it. I will leave every single file linked in the video description below. If you guys are interested in this wallpaper, you guys can also check it out by clicking the first link in the video description. With that said, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you of course guys haven't already. And by the way, if you love customizing your windows, I think you would really like this video right now. So make sure that you click on it. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next one.